It's coming out thick, thick. How many C's? <laughs> Four C's at least. <laughs> Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm sure your Halloween's gonna look a little bit different this year, but I thought it might be fun to do colored point shoes because I'm sure you have a bunch of dead point shoes lying around and you have a bunch of colored leotards, old costumes that you can repurpose for Halloween. So I'm gonna just be using three colors today, red, yellow, and blue, because you can do a lot of stuff. Um, and also, I'm going to be sharing with you a horror story, which is my own point experience. We're just using acrylic paint today, but there's a lot of really great options. You can also order point paint from uh, Point People, and there's a bunch of other ways that you can dye your point shoes. But today, I just thought it'd be fun to do a little arts and crafts day over here at the point shop. We're using matte acrylic paint. Remember, this is going to change your shoes a little bit because it is still liquid based. When you're painting your point shoes, make sure that you um, have enough time to stretch out your point shoes after you painted them because it does change it a little bit. So, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys my story while I'm doing this. I started dancing when I was three years old in the United States and then my family moved to Korea and I continued to dance. And ballet was like this one place where I felt like I could still be good at something because when I moved to Korea, academically, they are really far ahead of the United States. So I was behind in math. I was behind in a lot of subjects. I obviously didn't know history very well. If you think like, how can a five-year-old be behind already? Like, oh, you can. In Korea, you can be behind. So I was really having a hard time academically, so ballet was kind of like my place I could escape to. So um, it really got me through my childhood. Over 20 years ago, they just didn't have a lot of knowledge about point work and point shoe fittings and all of that. Back then, if you're dancing seriously, then that means that you were going to go pursue that as a career. So they put me on point around six or seven. Don't do that, it's not good for you. And because there wasn't a place to really go get fitted for point shoes, they basically just asked me for my shoe size and we waited months to get our point shoes. So they ordered a size bigger than my feet in anticipation to grow. So also don't do that. Point shoes should always be fitted for exactly when you are going to wear them. You should never buy point shoes to grow into because it's very dangerous. So the shoes didn't fit at, at all. So not even like, let alone the fit itself. Whatever other customizations we do for you, like forget all of that, the size didn't even fit. So I had these shoes that were way too big for me. That was like part of my training and it was kind of horrible. This will take a little while for it to dry. That's another problem. So give yourself a few days before Halloween to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do yellow. This could be, you know, you can use this as sunshine, sunshine. When I moved to the United States, they, they took me off point. So I moved here when I was 10. And then they put me back on point when I was 11. I think this is like partially the ballet culture and then partially Korean culture, but like we're just not taught to complain about anything. Everything hurt and it was like a really horrifying experience on point. But I never said anything to anybody, so I just kind of like suffered quietly. And then it was really sad because ballet up until I went on point was like an absolute joy. It was like a place where I could escape and it was a place where I felt I was like good at something because I felt like I was so behind academically almost the entire time I was in school in Korea. So I felt like that was like my safe place. But when I went on point, I felt like that was taken away from me because everything hurt so bad. That really just sucked all of the joy out of ballet for me. So I left ballet, I went to college instead, and I never thought I was gonna go back to ballet ever again. And then when I graduated from college in 2010, this is like a couple years after the economy crashed, and there wasn't a lot of jobs. So I went back to what I knew, which was ballet. And my mom had a dance store. So I knew retail, I knew ballet, and I knew how to fit point shoes. And I honestly didn't think that that was like a skill that was going to be in such demand. But because I've been fitting point shoes for such a long time at my mom's store, and I had experience on point, I started to do point shoe fitting when I graduated from college. And that's how the point shop came about. And I was like, 
really shocked that so many people needed to get fitted for point shoes. I was like, oh my gosh, so many people have the same problems as I did when I was growing up. And I always say this, like the more problems you had on point, the better fitter you are because you're like so traumatized by so many things and like you do so many troubleshooting things that like you learn to just figure out all of the problems. If you're having a horrible time on point, you might be a really great fitter one day. And that's how the point shop came about, because of my trauma. <laughs> so our goal is that every dancer has access to a point shoe fitter who is knowledgeable and is trained to fit point shoes. Whether that's your physical therapist, whether that's your ballet teacher, whether it's your local point shoe fitter, I just want everyone to have access because what happens when you're in the wrong fit is that like, you almost feel like it's your fault. Like, what's wrong with me? How come I'm the only person in my studio where everything hurts? You start to like blame yourself. There was a comment on our wish video and um, somebody said, this makes me wonder how many dancers are just in the wrong shoes, but they think that they're just bad dancers. And that's true, like point shoes is, Obviously, it's not everything, but it's a big part of it. Point shoes can either help you or hurt you. So I think this is something that should be taken a lot more seriously than it has been in the past. So I see the point shop in, within the next five to 10 years just becoming an educator and a teacher of how to fit point shoes. We continue to collaborate with the medical community. So that's our next goal is to be able to collaborate and help as many dancers as possible. and. At the heart of our entire company, it's really about empathy because I really felt like I wasn't listened to. I just want there to be a little bit more listening. And even if you do something completely different, let's say like you become an engineer or you become a lawyer or whatever, like this should carry on with you. This is such a big part of your life. And I just want this portion to be as wonderful as possible instead of remembering ballet as something that was painful and difficult. I want this to be as wonderful as possible for you, whatever your goals may be. So that's why we work with so many other specialists around because we're all trying to help you. Obviously our lane is shoes. This is a very, very tiny part of the industry. Like, you know, we just fit shoes. I'm so grateful that we're even part of this conversation and we hope to continue collaborating with people who are smarter than us, people who are more experienced than us, people who are knowledgeable in so many other ways. And uh, we're just grateful to be here. So that's where I see the point shop going in the future. This is really beautiful. <laughs> blue can be bluebird, it could be butterflies, it could be so many cool things. I know this is like an unconventional video that we're doing this time. I'm not really talking about point you fitting itself, but some of you have asked us about our story, our origin story. I think this is important to share because I think it can be anyone's journey. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you have any questions, leave that on the comments as well. If you like some merch, then you can go on our website. We'll have all of that linked below. And if you are a dancer who wants to get a virtual fitting with me, I'll have that in the description box. And I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful Halloween. And if you guys have any video ideas, leave that in the comments. I'll see you guys later.